Welcome to this video, which is all about the Ethics and Professional Skills Module, EPSM. And this video is an opportunity for you to learn about EPSM, what it is and the benefits that will come to you from doing it. But first, let me briefly introduce myself. My name is Tom Clendon and I am an ACCA member who qualified whilst working for KPMG. But I found my true vocation in teaching and I worked for many years for Kaplan in London. And then I left and relocated to Singapore where I continue to teach ACCA. Now I've come back to the UK and I'm now an independent SBR online lecturer and a consultant for ACCA. But enough about me. You're watching this video because you want to be a fully qualified ACCA member, a future professional. And like other professionals, doctors and lawyers, that means knowing about integrity, being able to exhibit ethical behavior, and being able to demonstrate the skills and judgment of reflection, because these are the attributes of a profession. And developing these skills and values is what EPSM is all about. But first, I wonder why these people are so happy. Maybe it's because they've achieved something that they've strived for and that can make a real difference to their lives. Perhaps it's ACCA membership. But in order to do that, you will need three E's. Exams. There's lots of those to pass. Experience. You've got to clock up three years at work and get the PER signed off. And the third E is the Ethics and Professional Skills module. So once you've passed the exams, once you've done the relevant work experience, once you've achieved the ethics and professional skills module, you will be eligible for membership of ACCA. And you can use the letters ACCA then after your name so that everyone knows your professional status. So EPSM is just one piece that makes up membership of ACCA. But please, ideally, please don't make it the last piece in the jigsaw. Because just like we can complete a jigsaw puzzle in any order that we want, but actually it makes sense to do the edges first. So there is a natural advantage to doing EPSM before completing your exams. In fact, the best time to do it is as you come to complete your skills exams. It really helps you develop the skills you need to pass those strategic professional exams. So let's drill down a little bit more. This EPSM is an online learning module that will develop and test your decision making and behavior in a number of real world business scenarios. It's an essential part of ACCA qualification. It will help increase your employability and workplace effectiveness. The units are designed to help you become confident, trusted professionals with a skill set to support you passing the strategic professional exams. So let's look at the EPSM contents. The units cover a range of content. Unit four, commercial awareness. This will certainly support you in stepping up from the skills stage exams to the strategic professional stage, but it's also relevant for the workplace. This unit focuses particularly on the professional skills of analysis and evaluation. And these skills will help you when discussing arguments for and against something and developing potential solutions to complex situations. Often there is no single right answer in exams. 
real life, after all, is not binary. So it is important to be able to show that your analysis is reliable and the evaluation of this analysis is valid so that the conclusion or recommendation is supported by reasoned arguments that have considered all angles. But look, let's hear from those who've been there and done it and listen to how they have found doing EPSM. So it opened my mind to a different way of thinking, I suppose. So it made me think more strategically, I think, ahead of my professional papers because it forces you to think like that, I think. So by taking you through those interactive modules and those interactive quizzes, it, it, uh, it has a different angle of thought, I think. I really enjoyed the unit that was talking about the different leadership styles. At this point of my career, currently I'm a um, accounting manager and I am working towards bettering my leadership style. Um, I am responsible for a team of five people who depend on me on a daily basis and especially when it comes to leadership. Uh, my goal currently is to work towards being a controller and my ultimate goal will be uh, to be a CFO and I know when it comes to those roles leadership is one of the top priorities so I really enjoy the leadership style um, learning about the different types of leaderships uh, and along with learning off of my current leader so leadership styles was one of my favorite along with effective uh, communications because they go hand in hand leadership and being able to effectively communicate to your team so i would say those two were up there for me gosh okay but what's in it for you why why do you want to do EPSM? And, and maybe let's keep it simple. Yeah, perhaps it's all about pass rates. Basically, it's true that you have a better chance of passing the strategic professional exams if you've completed the EPSM first. And this is because this module supplements your technical knowledge by helping you develop the ethical and professional behaviors that you'll need to successfully complete your strategic professional exams. But don't just take my word for it. The statistics prove it. My word. That's a powerful figure, isn't it? 25%. But let's hear from students who have benefited from doing EPSM and has helped them pass their exams. I did it before I did the SBL exam and it helped me a lot for the SBL exam. In SBL, there are 20 professional marks and the EPSM module touches on all the professional marks. And it does dive in quite deep into them where you will have a great understanding of all the professional marks before you do the exam. So if I was to give anyone advice that hasn't done any of the exams, would be definitely do the EPSM before you do, I mean, like all the strategic exams, because there is a short synopsis of like an introduction of all the exams. Um, whether it's SBR, SBL, APM, or whatever it is, to at least you can get a small bit of an understanding before you start opening up the books and learning. But most importantly for me, SBL, the 20 professional marks, all the other professional exams, you only get maybe maximum five, some of them four, I believe. But 20 professional marks can make a huge huge important factor to you passing the exam so definitely it did wonders for me when it comes to SBL.
Hi there, I'm Sean Purcell. I am an SBL expert tutor and I just want to say ethics and professional skills module is something I insist every single one of my students complete before doing my course. In fact, I don't let them on the course unless they've done it. It's so useful for conditioning students' minds to think in the way you need to think at the strategic professional level. So please encourage everyone to do it. Now, it's not just going to increase your chances of passing the exams. It's also going to help you deliver in the workplace as well. This is about personal development. You know, finance professionals do need to demonstrate that they understand and can apply ethical and professional behavior in real world work situations. And EPSM helps you develop these practical real world skills so that you can make an impact from day one in the workplace. In other words, this module is preparing you for a successful career as a trusted and confident professional accountant. And let's hear some more personal testimonies. Because I'm a working professional, that one for me is very interesting because um, I get to reflect on my current team situation, whether our team is currently still um, getting used to each other's working style or whether we are and how we can move, move on and um, be a performing team. Now I have the experience working with different teams in real life. So when I look into it again, um, I get a totally different um, understanding and it does really help to reflect and under leadership module I think there is another thing about um, different kind of um, working personality um, different kind of characteristic under the team like whether you are more resourceful or you are the completer style and I think that one helps in that will help me to understand my team better and how um, and moving forward how we can allocate tasks according to different personality so um, we are able to achieve better as a team. And I feel like the ethics module has made me, it, it, it may, it's made me more employable, um, especially when it comes to the decision-making skills. This is not to knock anyone, but I feel like when it comes to decision-making skills and after doing the EPSM, um, I have a little bit more of an um, advantage over my um, my peers, and not even that. Even I see it with people that have just finished um, college and coming into the workplace. Even learning about using spreadsheets, um, maintaining professional competence, or things that. Um, you might not have learned in real life situations. So the module puts that into perspective. Um, and then even like the role playing um, side of it makes it, it brings it more to life. It's better than reading it on paper. So it does, that module does give you an advantage in that sense a way to think strategically, a way to think ethically, and it's a way to behave, really, I think so. It's definitely been, I don't want to say times in work where I've had to think ethically, but because, like, like I say, people follow procedures, but I think if, if there ever was a time where people were trying to stray away from it, I'd be tempted, to, well, I would be, to to consider the wider impact of that decision, um, not just the impact on the business, but the impact on everyone else. Uh, affected by the decision really so it was definitely beneficial to do it and and the timing I think I did it definitely helped I could have done it midway through my strategic papers and I think it just would have been maybe a tick box ex exercise for me at that point but because I did it before it was sort of a learning process at the same time so let's consider some frequently asked questions shall we um the first is, when should I do EPSM? Well, the two best times to plant a tree are 20 years ago and today. So I would encourage you to get on with doing your EPSM 
because you know the benefits that it's going to bring both to your success in passing your strategic professional exams and benefits in the workplace. How long would it take? Well, obviously, this will vary from person to person. And to some extent, you get out what you put in. But 15 hours seems to be a reasonable uh, period of time. Um, you're able to access any of the material content again once you've completed if you do wish to refresh your knowledge. Do you get a certificate? Yes, you do get a certificate of achievement. And you'll also be given a personalized dashboard of your performance in the end of unit assessment and have a transcript showing the skills you will have demonstrated throughout the module. Is it an exam? Um, no, but what there is, is a series of tests throughout the module. And the final unit of the module is an assessment that you will need to pass. And if you don't pass first time, then you'll get feedback. And you can try again until you are successful without having to pay any additional fees. So thank you very much for watching. I wonder when you are going to sign up to do the EPSM and enjoy the benefits that it brings. For more information, please visit the ACCA Global website.